is Raven worth it? We're gonna find that out in this video. We're also gonna do an overview, check out the updates, the cash up, the monetization, the features, and check out what's happening to Waven nowadays. Where can you play? And we're gonna do a Waven gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Waven is a tactics MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is Waven? It's a colorful MMORPG with turn-based tactical combat. In Waven, you'll step in a colorful world as a chosen hero, each with their unique abilities, and you'll navigate the islands to uncover answers, engage in turn-based combat, and you'll wield spells, weapons, and companions to secure victory. You can customize your hero's gear and skills to match your style, and take on monsters for resources and gear in PvE, or test your prowess against other players in PvP battles. Now going to Waven's deep page, they describe the game as a free-to-play tactical multiplayer RPG with unique colorful graphics. Now one of the highlights of Waven lies in its combat system, which is turn-based and tactical in nature, where combat unfolds on a grid, adding a layer of strategic depth to every encounter. This system emphasizes thoughtful planning and decision making as players carefully position their characters, deploy spell, and engage with enemies in a methodical manner. The grid-based combat encourages players to consider terrain advantages, enemy positions, and their characters' unique abilities, fostering an engaging and dynamic gameplay experience. This approach to combat sets Waven apart and invites players to immerse themselves in a world where each move can tip the scales of victory. Now, Waven was released on Steam on August 16, 2023, and it's developed by Ankama Studios, a French entertainment company that is relatively known for its work in the realm of video games, animation, and multimedia projects. Established in 2001, Ankama is particularly recognized for its creation of the MMORPG, Dofus, and its spin-off, Wakfu. Currently, Waven is being played by 13,000 players with an all-time peak of 15,000, and overall reviews of Waven as of August 2023 is mostly positive. Now, Waven employs a free-to-play business model which allows players to download and play the game for free but offers a cash shop and a battle pass. And in the cash shop, it's mostly skins for your characters and companions and also emotes. Now, the battle pass on the other hand can give currencies that undoubtedly gives a player a leg up on players that doesn't have the battle pass enabled. Now, here's an update on what's happening to Waven nowadays. Currently, the game is on early access, which means we can play the game now, but is still under development online. The goal is basically to get players' feedback to refine and improve Waven before its official release. And currently, Waven is only available on PC and Mac, and according to their website, it's coming soon to mobile devices. That said, to show you more of the features and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. Let's go play the game. Okay, guys, here's the character creation. Oh man, I think the game is very loud. Okay, anyway, here's the gender over here, guys. Female and male character. Okay, let's go pick the female character. Female healer over here. Female warrior, archer, mage, and assassin. So, let's play as a mage. And I'm assuming this is where we put our name. So, there's no character customization. What is this? Experienced player version. But this game is new. Why is there some kind of option like this? Okay, let's click this. Hey, what happened to the character creation? It changed to this. Cray, I kind of know this. Words over here, Cray and Eripsa. This is Wakfu. But to make things simple, guys, let's just go to the simplified version. Name our character again. Create. And we are in the game. As you can see, guys, we can move by clicking the tiles. So there's click to move, guys. Point and click. Can we WSD? How about the arrow keys? Okay, so... How about, can we jump? Nope. How about control, alt, shift? No. Q, E, Z, X, C, V. Nope. Nothing. F. Nope. Okay. So according to the tutorial, we need to click on the boat to open the world map. Uh, before we do that, maybe let's try looking for the bag. Pressing B. Pressing I. No, nothing. How about menu? Oh, there's skip the tutorial. We're not gonna skip the tutorial because guys, this is the first time I'm playing this game. This is a brand new game. I don't even know if this is an MMO to be honest with you. A subscriber told me to play this and he told me there are MMO elements. So I was like, okay, let's go. Let's try it. But you probably heard me say that this is an MMO or not because when I make a video, I do the gameplay first before the overview. So anyway, we cannot open the bag. 
So let's do what the game is telling us. Click the boat. So guys, we're gonna do this old school. Play the game. See how it goes. Okay, there goes the world map. And what's happening? Okay, we can also move our boat. So let's go to the island over there. Lego. Click this. And what is happening here? Give us the combat immediately. Okay, so this guy's done talking. Oh no, he's not. We can now move. I guess this is the quest indicator. Let's talk to him. Man, his name's Goldard. <laughs> okay. Uh, play? I guess we press this and play. Okay. By the way, guys, according to the game, this is just the tutorial part. And I need to show you guys the combat before I play for a few hours and look for the MMO elements. Okay, anyway, let's do this so I can show you guys the combat. Or to this, we need to win the fight. Of course, okay. What's happening? Mr. Tard is attacking the enemy. Uh, it's, is it my turn now? Inspect the opponent. Okay, we're inspecting the opponent. How do we do that? Do we click him? Click and hold them. Is that what we're supposed to see? Okay. Now the game is teaching us how to move. As you can see, guys, the combat in this game is kind of like Wakfu. It's tactics combat. Reminiscent of PS2 games, PS1 games. Let's move. Uh, first, we need to click a character and then drag it over here. Let's go. Now and turn. Now opponent's turn. And he attacked us. What the what? 100 damage. Now my turn. Now attack the enemy. Okay, drag it over the enemy over here. And one damage. What the happened there? Oh, okay. It's because the HP of the enemy is just one. Victory. Continue. Okay, guys. That's the base combat, right? So I'm gonna play this tutorial first. And then when I see MMO elements, I'm gonna record again. Show it to you guys. Be back in a bit. Okay, so there it goes. I'm in the main hub. Astrib Island or Astrib Nation. Let's check out the map. As you can see, here's the island. This is a shared world game, guys. As you can see, there's a lot of people playing. And when you visit the other island, you can also see other people there. This is a traditional MMO. Not that traditional though, because the combat is tactics. Okay, so I've done most of the quests over here, the starting quest only, because they have different tiers of quests. I will do that later because it's gonna take me a while to be able to finish all of the quests. So after the tutorial, the game put me over here talking to this NPC and according to this NPC, I need to do all of the quests. So that's what I've been doing. Taking all of the quests from this exclamation mark over here. It's basically just combat guys. Talk to the NPC and then they're gonna talk. Everything is voiced. And when you talk to the NPC, it's combat sort. So let me show you the character profile. Here's the character profile guys. I mean the deck. As you can see, we can equip rings, brutes, and armbands. And you get this by just playing the game. And as you can see, we can upgrade them and it requires commas. This is, I don't want to say anything yet because based on what I can see, commas can help you progress a little bit faster than the people who doesn't have access to a bit more of commas. You can get more commas, this currency over here, if you have the battle pass. You can't buy commas on the cash up, by the way. All of the things in the cash up in this game are just cosmetics and emotes. There's no pay to win in the cash up. But you can get commas on the battle pass. So let me show you the battle pass, guys. Here it goes. The free versions over here also offers a bit of commas, small amounts, small amounts of gems. So, But if you have the other tiers of battle pass, the gold pass and platinum pass, as you can see, it gives a lot more commas. So... You will progress a little bit faster than the guys who doesn't have the battle pass. Battle pass over here, guys, are $6 for the gold. I, I think 7 Let me activate it. Oh, yeah. It's $7 for the gold pass and $15 for the platinum pass. And as you can see, you get a lot of useful stuff if you have the battle pass. You also get some equipment runes and spell runes. These are used to upgrade your spells and equipments to give them special stats. So as you can see... Some people might consider this as pay to win. For me, I'm just gonna play the game. I'm gonna play this game, by the way, for about a month until I get to the end game. Get as far as I could to determine if this game is pay to win or not. Then I'll maybe gonna make a video if this game is pay to win. But for now, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it to you guys. Show you guys what's available in the battle pass and cash up. So let's go back to the equipment. As you can see here, are the companions, you just get this by just playing the game, guys. My strongest companion over here is Dark Vlad. Let's try to upgrade them. As you can see, it consumes Kama to upgrade Dark Vlad. And if you want to add a little bit more skills to this Dark Vlad, you're gonna need this currency over here. It's not showing. I'm assuming you also get this by playing the game and in the battle pass. Oh, here, over here, companion runes. You can also put skins in your companions, guys. Look at this. 
And here are the spells. Spells here at the start of the combat is randomized. You're not really sure what you're gonna get. So it adds a little bit of luck when you're playing the game. You can also upgrade them by right clicking them. And as you can see, it consumes Kama. So how about let's try upgrading this high noon over here. Upgrade. So there it goes. The damage increased. And you can also use spell rune which you can get by playing the game and if you have the battle pass, you're gonna get a lot of this so you can upgrade your skill much more faster than the guys who doesn't have a battle pass. So we can also upgrade the skills of our character over here by clicking that. I already tried some of the skills over here. Most of these are also spells, but they're not that useful or I just couldn't understand them because I just started playing the game. So what I did is just reset all of the skills and just put all of the skill points here at the health points. I'm gonna try to max this out for now. I'm just gonna reset again when I fully understand the game. So let's go back. So there goes the deck, a character. Now let's go to the customization tab over here. These are all emotes guys. Basically, it doesn't add anything useful. I mean, stats, you know, these are just emotes. Things that's gonna make your character shine in the game. Now in the logbook, this is kind of uh, the quest. And as you can see, I've done a lot of the quests here at Astrob Island, except this Nausicaa. I couldn't find this NPC. I'm probably gonna Google this. I couldn't find it. Even this one, Marco Melton. I've already explored this whole island over here and I couldn't find those NPCs. Now, next tab over here is the chest. This is where you get your spells, your equipments. You get this by just doing all of the quests. They give you some. So let's try opening the super equipment chest by just double clicking. Sometimes it lags when you click them. It wouldn't open. It would take like a minute before it opens. The game's lagging. And as you can see, we got a few rare over here. Are they called rare or epics? Okay, anyway, the purple ones are rare. I have a lot of these things. Attack adds opposed repositioning. Okay, let's pick this one. We can pick two rewards, okay? So about this one. Can we add this one? Okay, let's add that one. I think we could use this to upgrade our equipment. Okay, so now super companion chest. Let's open this. And as you can see, we got new companions over here that we can pick. You can also pick a companion rune. So as you can see, when you just play the game, you can get some. But the battle pass is going to help you get more. Okay, so what do we pick? I'm mainly maining fire elementals on my character. So I guess let's pick this one over here. And maybe this one? Continue? Maybe. Ah, I should have picked <laughs> the companion rune. <laughs> okay, anyway, we got the treasure chest. And as you can see, there's a lot of people playing. These are players, guys. There's no name written. So it's really, you know, at first, you don't know that there are other characters. But if you inspect them, there are other characters. Most NPCs over here doesn't move. So what else can I show you guys? Oh, the cash shop. Okay, here goes the cash shop. Most of what you can get over here are just skins and emotes. That's it. This one over here is the battle pass. The battle pass over here, in my opinion, is the one that gives a little bit more advantages. The reason I'm not really saying my complete opinion about this battle pass is because I think I need to play the game a little bit more. But I'm leaning towards that this game offers a decent amount of pay to progress faster. Let's go outside so I can show you guys the world map. To go outside the world map, you need to interact with your boat over here. So click that boat and there it goes. Here's the world map. It's very small and the other islands unlock as you play the game. So how about I've already done most of the other quests. At the other island. So how about let's go to this Gobble Island over here. Because the other islands are very strong. I couldn't do them. <laughs> I need to play a bit more. Do a little bit more of the quest at Astro Island. So I can get more experience. Anyway, here's the Gobble Island. Let's do one quest over here. And as you can see, at this Gobble Island, there are people playing. These are other people, guys. And yeah, this NPC over here. As I've said, Kamas is kind of a sus. <laughs> if you have a lot of Kamas... You're gonna progress a little bit faster than the guys who doesn't have any commas. As you can see, interact with this NPC. Most of the equipment over here requires commas, but as you can see, I have commas. The game also gives you a little bit more commas. And as you can see, there are epic rings over here, but it also requires another currency. These are the quest currency, guys. If you do quests, you're gonna gather these things. What else can we get here? Companions. Oh, there's a gold ring. Nice. But it requires a lot of questing and commas. Okay, so how about let's do another quest. Let's talk to this cat over here. Do a quest. Let's do the level 4 quest. And as you can see, it's gonna give us an equipment rune. There are also other rewards here, but the bonus reward is an equipment rune. Let's play. And there it goes. We're going to have to fight these ships over here. I haven't fully understood the Sinestro over here. According to this, it transforms, but 
the monsters would hunt it down. <laughs> so I haven't seen one of the Sinestro transforms. So about let's try it. Oh, nope. Can we eliminate the other ones? Okay, so how about let's try using this Ardent over here. Let's try gathering some elemental so we can summon a companion. We're not gonna try to summon this. I'm gonna try to summon this level 5 fire elemental. Let's go. End our turn. Let them come to us. Okay. I haven't understood that. Every time I end my turn, there's something attacking me. I don't know why. It's probably... I don't know. What's the challenge now? King of the Hill. The targeted opponent must be finished off when your hero is on the cell. In the middle of the board. What? Okay, anyway. We're not... We're gonna ignore that. <laughs> okay, let's try summoning this Sinestro over here. We attack that. Let's finish off this other one. And then... Ooh, we can't attack. So let's end turn. Now it's third turn. And our summon died. Okay, so how about... Let's go over here, attack this one. Then use this temporal burn skill. So we can attack everything around us. Using the skill. There he goes. Die. Ooh, this one is still alive. I think I should summon this one because we need to finish up this other monster. Okay, he's dead. And turn. Okay, so let's use this one. Nope. Target this one. And as you can see, the game is lagging. I selected this monster over here to use this spell and there it goes cast it the game is lagging <laughs> okay finish up this one then finish this up i think we can finish it up and yeah there it goes they're dead victory and that's waven in 2023 as of now waven is definitely worth it I like the challenge each of the quests gives and the monetization at least for now to me is free to play friendly but my opinion on the monetization could change because I plan to play this until I get to the end game and we'll see how it goes. And guys, do you want to see the latest free to play MMORPG news? There it goes on the screen, leave a like before you go and this is Gaming Hardcore, see you in the next one.